Stan, how, you know, how are you feeling right now? I know are you better? Um, um, I guess a little better than yesterday. I mean, I was able to eat breakfast um, today, but, you know, definitely don't feel myself, mm -hmm. um, obviously, so. When did it start? Um, the night before the 400. You just know something you ate? That pulse that you thought was just something, maybe some, yeah, something just bad? Yeah, my stomach, my stomach is still like literally in oh. knots. And, um, so how, how are you going to feel moving forward? What are you going to, are you just trying to get extra rest? And yeah, I'm um, just kind of leave it up to my coach in terms of whether I'm done or not. Um, but, you know, definitely just continue. I have some medicine I, that they gave me um, at the, the medical tent mm -hmm. and um, just continue to take Tylenol, I guess, and mm -hmm. get some rest. So. Do you have a preference when you eat about the swim in the or not? Uh, I mean, it is a couple days away, so, um, you know, if I feel better. But, again, I'm just going to leave that up to my coach in terms of what he wants me to do. Given right now, right now, you wouldn't feel good enough to do it. Obviously, uh, yeah, no. a, a race like that. <laughs> Given how you're feeling in that 200, was 200 what it felt like, or did you? Could, how did you feel about? It? Uh, I just didn't feel like I had my normal pop. You know, um, I haven't been that slow in really any prelim all year. So, um, you know, I was trying to go in very positive, and um, the fact that I was able to eat, I was optimistic. But you know, I gave it everything I had, and really all I could do. Just like, did you know during the race, as soon as you get going, that it's, a it's bit, probably yeah, not there? It, felt, it just felt a little sluggish and that I didn't have the pop. I was mm -hmm. trying to make sure I did all the technical things right, which I did. Um, mm -hmm. So there's not really, you know, touching the wall. Like, there's really not much more I could have done, you know. Yeah. How are you feeling coming in? Coming in, I was feeling great. <laughs> I was feeling confident. I was feeling optimistic. And just based off my training leading into it, um, I thought... You know, at least the 200, I had a really good shot, um, or at least the relay, um, so. How realistic, I mean, if you do swim the 800, though, I mean, that was not, obviously, that was not one you were focusing, you know, the two no, and the four were no. your two. Yeah. So that was just kind of an extra point. That was just like, you know, if I made the 200 to see, just for fun, training swim. Yeah. Um, that's obviously one that's kind of, especially with how well, you know, those girls are swimming, realistically, it's not really in the cards, but right. um, it was, I think it would just be kind of a, maybe try to end the meet on a better note type thing, but... Yeah. Um, Again, up to Paul. What are you doing mentally to stay optimistic since all of this is coming at, at yeah. Olympic trials time? Um, just trying to feed off of everyone's positivity and support coming my way. Um, obviously, it's you know not easy uh, right now, especially. But um, just trying, you know, it happens. It happens to people all the time, and um, I mean, not much I more can do in dwelling on it is going to help me. So. What about going I up later. Did you say you are swimming in something else, and what is that? I'm sorry, um, I walked up he, later. They were talking about the 800, and I'm leaving that up to Paul. Oh, you are leaving that up to Paul. Mm -hmm. So you, do you have a personal preference? I'm just leaving it in his 